before I uh, talk about the word of the week, uh, going off uh, baptism, um, as you guys saw, our youth is going to um, our youth camp, and there's going to be for the youth kids a baptism opportunity to get baptized in the ocean Saturday night. Um, so if that's something you know you're a youth kid and you're interested in, um, you know let one of the leaders know, and we'll you know talk to you about that. And so, uh, all right. So the word of the week is going to come out of Proverbs 22. We're going back to uh, the sayings of the wise. And so this verse here, uh, two of them, it's 22 uh, through 23. And it says, don't rob the poor just because you can or exploit the needy in court. For the Lord is their defender. He will ruin anyone who ruins them. So instantly, the Lord is their defender. He will ruin anyone who ruins them. So I think about. You know, when I was young, you know, I like to consider myself grown up now. But back when I was young, as a kid, you were, you knew who had the scary older brother, right? So you knew I'm not going to pick on that kid because he has this person over here who's going to come and get me back. And that's kind of what the end of this verse is saying. Like, the scary older brother, the poor, is the Lord. Right? You don't want to make him mad because if you're going to harm the poor and take advantage of the poor, the Lord's going to know that and he's going to make things right. Um, and so whenever I think, you know, what do they mean by poor? Um, the first time I heard this verse actually was at my grandma's house, um, when I was in like elementary school and, um, I was sitting there minding my own business and her landlord comes by and my grandma, she's been a widow for, I think like 24 years now. And so he comes by and says, Dorothy, I got to, you know, Dorothy, I got to raise your rent. And my grandma, she says, okay, hold on a second. And she goes and gets her uh, old, you know, King James Bible, and she goes over to the door and starts telling them everything. This is what the Bible says about widows and what you're doing to me as a widow. And uh, talking about this is what the Bible says about poor. You know, you're harming the poor right now. You're taking advantage of me. And so that's when I really realized, okay, like, don't don't take advantage of the poor, right, because some old lady at the door might yell at you. <laughs> um, but it's even deeper than that, right? Because that, that's true. You don't want to take advantage of the poor financially. Um, but I thought about it. What about spiritually poor? What about those who might not be as strong in their walk with God? What if, you know, we treat them wrong or we take advantage of them? What's going to happen to them? And I actually got a story about that, too. Um, my older sister, uh, she used to go to church, and um, she went to a youth group some, uh, somewhere else. And um, she was just having a good time at youth group, right? And she just wasn't quite there in her walk with God, but she was getting there, and uh, someone at that church uh, just kind of, you know, was just upset with them and yelled at them and took advantage of them that they don't go to that church, and um, that really made her walk away from God, and to this day, um, she still claims that um, there is no God, and because of that day, she says, if that's what Christians are, you know, I don't think I want to be one, right, and so that really led her away from God. So I think we really need to be careful with what we do and who we talk to and just to make sure we don't take advantage of anybody who might be poor, who might not be able to defend themselves or who might not know better, rather it be financially poor or rather it be spiritually poor. Thank you, guys.